Variables are one of the most powerful tools in Postman. They help you avoid hard coding values, switch between environments, build dynamic workflows, and collaborate effectively with your team. In this video, we'll explore the four variable scopes, global, environment, collection, and local. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly when and how to use each of these scopes to make your API testing and development faster, cleaner, and more secure. So now let's take a closer look at each type of variable. Let's start off with global variables. Global variables can be used anywhere in your workspace across all collections and environments. For example, if you set base URL to any URL that you're working with, you can reference it in any request or collection using the curly braces notation. This means you can share it across multiple collections in your workspace. So this is great when you need a variable shared across your collections, when you're testing and prototyping quickly, or when you have some constants like URLs or tokens that rarely ever change. To create global variables, go to your environments icon, click on the globals tab, and add a key value pair. Now you can use it in any request using the curly braces notation. Let's talk about environment variables. Environment variables let you change your value depending on which environments you're working with. So for example, if you have a base URL, you can create an environment for your testing, for your staging, or for your production. This lets you switch environments with a single click without having you edit any requests. Also, you can remember that all values are stored locally. There's no more accidentally pasting sensitive values and having those synced to the cloud. However, if you do want to share these values with your teammates or use them with tools like Postman's monitors, you can explicitly share them by clicking on the share button. This interface has a guardrail to ensure that no sensitive information is shared. You can also mark these values as sensitive, which masks the values so that you can keep them a secret. And if you want to share your environments across various workspaces, you can also fork them just like you do with collections. Ultimately, environment variables make it easy to switch context without rewriting your requests. Each environment holds its own set of variables, which is active only one at a time. To create an environment variable, click on the environments tab and click on new variable. Add your variables, add your descriptions, mark whatever values you want to be masked as secret, and then activate your environment variable from the top right environment selector or from the environments tab. You also have this handy dandy environments pane, which shows you which variables are active and which variables are set. Now let's talk about collection variables. Collection variables belong to a specific collection and they remain consistent no matter which environment is active. They're ideal for values that don't change too often, like static URLs, versions, or even some default headers. So when should you actually use these collection variables? Number one, when the variable you're using only applies to one API or collection. Number two, when you want some sort of consistent behavior across all of your environments. Number three, when you're sharing your collection, which could be through forking or exporting, or when you're using some sort of automation tools like the Collection Runner or the Postman CLI. This is where your variables are self-contained. To create collection variables, go to your Collections Overview and click on the Variables tab. Here, you can add all of your collection variables. Collection variables are also great when it comes to working with test scripts. You can use agent mode to write some interesting test scripts to keep all of your tests dynamic. You can use scripts like collection.get or set, similarly with environment variables as well as global variables. This makes your testing dynamic after every collection run. Speaking of dynamic, this brings us to our fourth and our final scope, which is local variables. Local variables exist only during the execution of a single request. They are temporary. They are not saved, they are not shared, and they are not persistent. You can use these for short-lived data during scripts, such as extracting response values or testing some sort of calculation. Use local variables when you need a temporary placeholder in a script, you're testing some logic transformation in the pre-request script or the post-request script, you don't want to override your shared values, or if you're chaining some sort of request dynamically in your workflow. Local variables are great for some experimentation, quick calculations without affecting any of the other variable scopes. Now, here are some basic rule of thumbs. Use local variables for temporary values during execution. Use environment variables for context switching when it comes to working with different environments such as your staging, testing, or even your production. Use collection variables for constants that are shared across various requests within your collection and use global variables for workspace-wide data, but only use these when they're necessary. And that's it. Now you know how to use global, 
environment, collection, and local variables all within Postman to make your API workflows more flexible and secure. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for all things Postman. And let me know in the comments what kind of topics you'd like to see next. Thank you for watching.